Okay, so we're starting a new story that is going to be useful to us in organic chemistry, and you're going to be surprised at how much information we can get from an understanding of Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases. Okay, so let's start out with a definition. A Bronsted-Lowry acid is a compound that donates a that donates a proton, right? So there's a proton right there. By the way, we call it a proton because a hydrogen atom has no neutrons, right? Uh, if we had one that was that had neutrons, it would be a deuterium, right? So a hydrogen atom has no neutrons. That's the symbol for it. And so when a hydrogen ion is donated, we call it a proton. That's what that is, okay? That's a proton. So an Acid is a bronsillary acid is a proton donor, right? So can you see how this HCl lost an H plus and that's what's missing over here, okay? And a base is a, a proton acceptor. So I have a base here, which is water, right? It's acting as a base right now. And it takes the H plus. And so H2O neutral plus H plus gives H3O plus, which is hydronium ion, okay? And the final term that we need to appreciate with respect to uh, the introduction to Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases is conjugates. So if this is an acid, then this is its conjugate base. Now conjugate is a relative term, okay? So it is a base, in a way it's obviously a super weak base, but it's a base, and this is an acid, but this is the conjugate acid of water. So we're gonna call it the conjugate acid because water over here is acting as a base, and this is its conjugate acid. So we're going to use those terms a lot. And we're going to know some things about this conjugate acid simply because we know some stuff about water. Or we're going to know some things about this conjugate base simply because we know some things about HCl.